y'all welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to day 23 of ketober this morning is a very exciting morning because when we woke up the temperature was in the high 40s which is like the coldest day we've had in months and i got to get all cozy in a jacket and some sweatpants and i'm just living my best life this morning i made myself some hot coffee i enjoyed it it's just been a good morning i have been busy getting some stuff done on the computer got some videos edited and now it is time to actually start my day it is about 11 30 now so getting a little bit of a late start to this vlog but what i'm about to do now is take the puppies out to potty i think here in a little while we may try and take the boat out try and figure out what is going on with it and if we can fix it so we may do some fishing this afternoon it should just be a great day so let's go ahead get ketober day 23 started cooper hasn't been making any noise and i came in here to find him asleep in his little bed you know are you sick you're not destroying all of my things oh who's home cooper daddy is home it is now about 12 15 and i'm gonna fix my first meal of the day so last week i made that big old roast in the crock pot well we still have a ton of leftovers and we need to eat it before it goes bad so i just warmed myself up a plate of this prime beef roast and i am going to serve it with a little salad. So I picked up this 50-50 blend of lettuce and spinach and I picked up this 50-50 blend of spinach and lettuce and however you say that. So I am just gonna make myself a wee little salad to go alongside this meat. Some of my lettuce, whatever you wanna call this. My greens, going to do a little bit of cheese on top because everything's better with cheese and as always my sunflower seeds because these just make salads worth eating i don't know a little bit of crunchy is just what i need in my life to make a salad good so some sunflower seeds and lastly this is the dressing i have been obsessed with lately this Ken's Simply Vinaigrette. It's just olive oil and vinegar, but it tastes pretty good. So, I'm going to dress my salad with that. And I've got me a little nice meal that's going to hold me over until I make my Big Mac casserole for dinner tonight, which I'm real excited about. Woo! Big Mac casserole! Woo! In the house! Oh my golly. Can't wait. Mm-hmm. I can already smell the Big Mac. Look at this wild hair Cooper has going on on top of his head. It's like he's got a little mohawk going or something. It just about is to the point where you need a trim, buddy. You're looking a little scraggly. Ooh, look at Cody over there getting some ice for the boat in those uh, really cute rubber boots he loves. Wow. Get that ice, boy. Ooh. There it goes. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll get some keeper fish today. We can have fish this week. Would you like some fish, Bobo? He's ready for the boat, aren't you, buddy? You ready to go fishing? Well, guys, we got the boat loaded up. There she is behind my truck. And we are headed to the boat launch. We got Cody with us. We got Cooper Pooper. We got Bo asleep in the back and we're headed to go fishing it is an absolutely beautiful day outside today hopefully we catch some fish and have a great time on the water let's go fishing i'm so excited I did a good job parking the trailer. I got the doggies and it's time to go load up on the boat. It's a beautiful day out here. I can't wait to get on the water today. 
I'm pretty sure Bo thinks the boat is his. He just stands at the front and enjoys the view. It is too funny. Check out this crab just over there swimming. Swimming on top of the water. Hanging out. are out on the water and not having too good of a fishing day at all. We just have not been catching any fish lately. What the heck? But it is a absolutely beautiful day outside. The weather is absolutely perfect. Like you can't get much better than this. So even though the fishing sucks, just being out here, I am one happy gal. Cody caught one fish, I've caught zero fish. I almost just fell off the boat. But yeah, that's how things are going. And my dogs are down here doing a little nap in this afternoon sunshine. This is Bo's happy place. Just the wind in his ears. Cody is hooked up. Nice little red. He got him a little nice red fish. Look at that. It's a little baby. I don't think that one's even in the slot. But reds are probably the prettiest fish you can catch out here and the best eaten but he is too small to keep look at this red fish he's so pretty and i love the spots on their tail they're all unique there he goes cody just caught a nice little speckled trout look at him it's good eating right fish. there you know i just caught a really nice speckled trout there he goes Look at how pretty it is out here with the pelicans flying over the water. This beautiful sunset. Oh my gosh, and there's dolphins right here. Could it really get any better than this? I don't think so. Cody just caught a really nice trout and Bo is very excited about it. Look at all the pelicans right here, just hanging out. It turned out to be a wonderful night on the water. And there's Coop taking a nap. It is time to head back to the boat launch even though we're catching fish. And look, I put Bo's sweater underneath his life vest so that he's a little bit warmer since it's gotten cool. <laughs> he is not a fan, but it'll keep him a little bit warmer for the 10 minutes it takes us to get home. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. And I gotta grab Cooper, and now it's back to the boat launch we go. are back at home so our day on the water was actually a great day so for the first couple of hours we were out there we caught nothing like literally nothing and then we decided to try one more spot before heading in and it ended up we were catching trout after trout after trout it was a really good evening we caught some really nice speckled trout we did not end up keeping them because we didn't have time to fillet them tonight. We needed to get home. So hopefully we can go out this weekend and maybe do a catch and cook, but tonight we just released them safely. So after that, we had to putter back in because our motor is having issues. So we had to go like five miles at like six miles an hour. So we just like puttered along, but thankfully we got in before the sun went down. But it was just absolutely beautiful out there when that sun was going down. It was just phenomenal, just stunning on the water. I had, I was just so happy to be out there. But anyways, it is currently 8.30, so it's a little bit late to start cooking dinner, but since we just got home, I don't have any other choice. Tonight, I am making a low-carb Big Mac casserole, and I am going to show you how I make it. So, first things first, we are going to brown about two pounds of ground beef, so I'm gonna grab that and head over to the skillet. Right there, right there. I am going to add my two pounds of ground beef into a skillet. To the ground beef, I'm gonna add some of these chopped dried onions. Oh wow, that came out a lot faster than expected. I thought this had a top on it and it doesn't. All right, lots of chopped onion. 
Now I'm adding in a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And then about a teaspoon of minced garlic, some pink salt, and some black pepper. Now I'm just gonna brown all of this ground beef. My ground beef is just about fully cooked, so what I'm going to do is drain it off and throw all of this ground beef in a big casserole dish. I added my ground beef to my casserole dish. To this, I'm gonna add about a cup of freshly grated sharp cheddar cheese, about a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, now I'm gonna quickly throw together a dressing to mix into our Big Mac casserole. This is kind of like a take on Thousand Island dressing. I am not really measuring this out. I'm just gonna hope it turns out good. So I'm gonna do a big scoop of mayo. Some of my Alterna Sweets ketchup. Just going to put some of that in there. Maybe two tablespoons or so of some spicy brown mustard. A dash or two of Worcestershire sauce, however you say it. And then lastly, a little bit of dill and some dried parsley. Now I'm just going to mix this all together. Now I'm gonna add in about three fourths of a cup of this dressing I made right over the top of all the cheese. And now just stir this all together until it's well mixed. Once I mixed everything together, I flattened it out and we're gonna top it with some dill pickle chips. Sprinkle some sesame seeds over the top of that. And the final step is to sprinkle just a little bit more cheese over the top. I quickly threw together this Big Mac casserole. It came together in just a couple minutes. Now I'm gonna pop it in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes or until the cheese is nice and bubbly and golden brown on top. So let's pop her in the oven. My Big Mac casserole is done and it looks absolutely fabulous. What I did was I cooked it for 20 minutes at 350 and then I broiled it for about three to four minutes or until that cheese got nice and golden brown. This is a very rich meal, so I'm going to serve it alongside a salad, but feel free to add whatever other side you think would go best with this dish. I decided to just serve my Big Mac casserole over some lettuce, so time to dig in. This smells heavenly. I am not gonna lie, it should taste delicious. We finished eating dinner and then I have been dealing with a very crazy Cooper because he took a very nice long nap on the boat, so he is being an absolute terror tonight. Just bad, 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 bad. So I have been dealing with that and just sitting on the couch with Cody watching the Food Network channel, catching up on some stuff on my emails, and that's what we've been up to. But I wanted to tell y'all about dinner earlier. So that Big Mac casserole was absolutely delicious, but it was very rich and very heavy. I could only eat a small serving of it, but I think the next time if I make it, I may mix in a bag of riced cauliflower just to kind of like tone down some of that richness with like a veggie that kind of blends in with that taste. I think it would have just been a little bit better. So I will do that the next time I make it. I need to go shower now. My hair is a hot mess. Oh, earlier today, I never realized how blonde the ends of my hair are and like part of this until I did this today and like, Look at how different that color is. I'm like blonde on the ends and dark brown at my roots. I need to go get my hair done. But now I am just rambling, oh my golly. I'm gonna go shower, I'm gross. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed Keytober Day. Oh look, my watch is not there. The amount of times that I do this to look at my wrist and there's not a watch. I think it's day 23 of Keytober. I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all tomorrow with another vlog. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.